Good morning, JK. I took this trade. I was up a hundred dollars. Then I was down ten dollars. But we had this buying up here, or we came right up into a zone here and failed. So this trade worked out good. I've been staying this trade for a long time. But eventually, the mar market rally on the news dropped on the retail news and then get a pop. I can take this off a 330 win. I'm not particularly concerned about the growth outlook. What I thought was most interesting about retail sales was how consistent it was with Boston Fed President Rosengren's argument yesterday that asset purchases are not boosting or are not even necessary because the interest rates in parts of the economy, i.e., housing, lot of so we can have to have the world. And it's a crisis that meant that gold rates up on the market were totally unnecessary this go around. There's not a demand problem. I try going into YM. But I took it off. I I wanted to take it here. I put it up here. It never got up there. So I leave it. I, I tried to go into RTY also. But I didn't like the price action and I took off the play. He's overbought. Short momentum. And high probability. He got a lot of zones up here. Uh, watch what he did after the news came out. News came out at 8.30. Got the drop into the news. And just rally like a bat. Oh, see that? And the retail sales number were horrible. NQ got the drop. Well, NQ got the drop before 8.30. It was already down here already. The news came out here and it got this drop and then ping up. Had a whole bunch of sell orders here. But it still keep push higher. So I stay with that trade because he never broke the cloud. I mean, even though he pushed higher, he never get past the cloud on the two minute chart here. And just pivot right back down. But I was using these bands here. Matter of fact, I was going to take it off because he still had a 50 a 50 block by order sitting up here, but it never got there, so. Just printed off to here, and we got the drop. Now we got selling here, now we could come all the way back here. Yeah, I do two trades in the morning and they both work. Today I'm cutting off as I have a doctor's appointment and uh, I'm gonna finish at 12.30, 12.45. And tomorrow I'm gonna finish at one o'clock. Stop trading after one o'clock. One or one thirty. Most likely one and when on uh, tomorrow. Today I'm stopping at before one o'clock. Look at this. He come down, got a sell order here. All right. Get some buy-in right there, 129 block. All right. So once that's, if he don't get no more buy-in, 
Uh, if he gets on by and he come right into here, he can push it higher. And then we see if we have an alignment with our zones. Now what I did this morning, I look at the five minute and I saw a zone at 87, right? And I put a line on the chart here. I come right up to 87, fill me, I make a couple hundred dollars. So this zone, it had a higher zone that was touching the two minute, a fresh zone on the five minute. I put a blue, I didn't want to look at both charts. So I like to look at this chart and this chart. I put the line here and it came up filming, which is kind of cool. But a lot was in pre-market, you know, so. In pre-market, it's a little more uh, stable than when we open with the algos, you know. I see if I find that file. Today is the seventeenth. Yeah. Short momentum setup. I think this was it. So I put the line here. I put the line right here. I put the line of the zone that was on the five minute here, came up, touch it. Trap. Went back and forth a little, right? But eventually just trapped. I hit the line twice and and fail. Now we're back into this zone here. So that's a demand zone. I would take the straight off here, but short sure, momentum setup. So this was the five minute zone here. Place the trade here. This line here. We had another zone here on the two minutes that was touched. So we got the five minute zone. Came twice, tested, never break the trend line. Came right back down into the demand zone. So that's a quick win. Here. Nice alignment. Zone here, fresh zone from the five minute. The blue line here, I put it here. At eight seven, got filled. That's a trap. It went back and forth, it's upsented, and the probably a power comes down. Usual stuff, right? And now we would get out there, because we got this zone here, below through the zone, and got a fresh demand zone here. So that's why you would want to take a crap. Short momentum, short momentum setup. Right. Short momentum setup. Make the 200 and now, no? 30, 40 bucks, yeah? Quick hit the mark, right? Put a double up here, but uh, this is a, a limit order play. Been put down more than one contract and it test it. Come up, test it again. We put an add right here. And if we look here, we got some buying here, some selling here. See here. Then you get momentum shift, cross over, and drop. Right? So that was the one this morning. And what it did after it dropped right through that supply demand zone, it dropped right and went low, but I was already out so. Uh, that's it.